Today we go back in time to the era of the cockatrice, the start of drinking history, and yes, even hardtack. The year is 2021, and this is Catch Up with Max and Jose. Hi everyone, it's Max from Tasting History. So recently we did a recap of 2022 because it is the end of 2022. And a lot of people were like, hey, I missed that video. I never saw that pop up. And um, then a lot of people were like, where is the 2021 recap? And it seems a lot of people missed those videos too. So yes, we're about a year late, but we are recapping 2021. And forgive me, I'm going to be reading off of my iPad. A lot of people are always like, how do you memorize everything? I don't. Um, but I also don't use a teleprompter because when I use a teleprompter, it looks like I'm using a teleprompter and sounds like it as well. Uh, so instead I write everything out and then I kind of like memorize a paragraph and regurgitate it. Um, so it comes off off the cuff. Anyway, that's what I'm doing right now, but I'm gonna hold it up. Um, so yeah. 2021 was the second year of tasting history, really the first full year. Um, top videos were Feeding a Roman Legion, How to Eat Like a Pirate, that is hardtack, 500-year-old pizza versus today, Semlor, which was a total, did not expect that to take off, and it did, and I'm so glad that it did because it was fantastic. And then number five, kind of doesn't count, but it was the I Quit video, um, When I Quit. Disney, not here. Uh, and then there were, there were some flops, some, some less viewed videos. Uh, those were, you know what, but they were all drinking history and it was just getting started. Um, and they still tend to be the, the lower viewed videos, but the weird wedding traditions and the wedding sip, uh, the first drinking history, which was Congress's bootlegger, which is actually really an interesting one. And then the London beer flood of 1814. So January started off with a really strong video because I did food that monks ate um, and the, how they kind of cheated the rules so that they could eat very, very well in medieval Europe, especially in medieval England. And it did really, really well. And it was funny because usually January, not the best month for, uh, for YouTube. And so to start the year off with that was, was fantastic. Um, and then this last year, I learned that January is a rough month for YouTube. Um, oh, but we did, so two of my favorite videos were that month, and a lot of people missed them. They were the London Gin Craze, all about kind of the history of gin, but especially in London, and Bechamel was the dish, but uh, the death of Monsieur Vatel, who was a French chef who took his job way too seriously and ended up um, offing himself. Uh, because things didn't go well, because some seafood didn't arrive. Fantastic, if a little sad story. Um, and then February was great because it started off with the hard tack episode. And that was my Patreon patron uh, Etrigan's idea to do that episode. And I'm so glad that he did because I've gotten a lot of usage out of that clip, as we all know. Um, the Aztec chocolate, fabulous French feasts, which I was working with a friend of mine who uh, wrote a book at the time um, on Lafayette, which was fantastic. Um, that was also Irish stew. Oh no, I've skipped over to March, haven't I? I have. Oh, February was the medieval cockatrice. So that was the one year anniversary and one of the most expensive dishes I've ever made because I had to buy a suckling pig and a capon and Frankenstein them together, literally stuffed them and sewed them together. Uh, it was a medieval dish, very famous in medieval kitchens. Um, yeah, it was, it was very weird, very weird. Um, and what was so disappointing was the video like, eh, did all right, didn't do that great. And it's so crazy because I think, oh, a video's gonna, gonna do great, and then it doesn't. And then the week before that, I think, was Semlor, and I was like, oh, this will probably do okay. And then it just blows up. Um, so you can never, you can never tell. Uh, March was the Aztec chocolate, my first Egyptian episode. Um, and then the Irish stew, which another really strong, strong video that I, I didn't expect. And I'm really glad that one was, because again, it's a interesting story, sad Irish potato famine, but uh, glad, 
glad I could share. Then April came along and uh, started off with a Viking episode. I did the Dragon Heart, and this is actually and my my bad for not really making it uh, making it as well known. But a lot of people who watch the Mead video have asked even today. Are you ever going to try that mead again? Uh, you know, you said you were going to hold it and let it age and then try it again. Well, this is where I tried it. It was six months after I first made it. Um, so if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that one. And then that rest of the month, I was sponsored by a video game and it was four weeks of just Rome. And they all did really, really well, um, but especially the Feeding a Roman Legion, followed by the I Quit video. And I remember when that came out, um, I, ha I basically had to decide if I wanted to go back to Disney or if I wanted to do Tasting History. I, I couldn't do both. Um, so I obviously chose Tasting History. It was the right choice. Um, but I remember I wasn't even going to put out that video. It felt like a little, like, who, nobody cares. Um, but then I decided, okay, I'm going to do it. And it brought in so many new people and people were so supportive. It was fantastic, and I think it's the only time I've really had like a clickbaity kind of mm, like uh, thumbnail, but um, it worked. Clickbait works. Then, then May came along. Uh, we did the placenta, placenta, uh, and then we did Korean flour pancakes. Didn't do that well. Uh, Manner for a bowl of stew it was the um, stew that they made for coronations in medieval Europe, going all the way up to the 19th century. Still love that dish. And then the pizza, uh, which really is more of a pastry. Um, the Scoppy's pizza is fantastic. And that, I mean, who doesn't like pizza? That video obviously did very, very well. Um, and then June came along. I did adobo. Oh, I did the Coco de saint Jean, which was a the idea of another patron and a good friend of mine from Disney who I used to work with. Um, and it, it, it didn't do that great, but it's actually kind of found legs, um, legs afterward, which is interesting when a video like doesn't perform well. And then a year later, it kind of comes back around and it's always kind of finding, finding new viewers. That's always, always fun. Um, and then the history of ice cream obviously did very well. Again, like pizza, it's like everybody likes it. Um, one that I was really surprised that did so well was in July, the Japanese noodles. Um, I mean, I thought it would do all right, but it did really, really well. And uh, I, was, I was super glad because I think it was the first Japanese dish that I ever did. And people now, like whenever I do a Japanese dish, they, te they tend to do at least pretty well. Um, and then this was my, I guess it wasn't my first August, but it was my first August where I was like, oh, Nobody's on YouTube in August um, because that was the start of drinking history and the Nostradamus cookbook. That um, that that was rough, uh, but I enjoyed it. But then we did the lemonade, which did really well. Um, Fanny Farmer. A lot of these, though, they they're they're the workhorses. You know, they're like slow but steady uh, viewers or views. And then in September. It was back to back to back. It was great. Um, we did Feeding a Medieval Knight. We did uh, the Viking Blood Bread. Fantastic. And one of my favorite videos that I've done. Um, and then Feeding a Roman Gladiator, Making the Pulse. Also fantastic and so much fun. Lots of controversy in the comments on that one. Um, and then October was our wedding. And so I did the wedding cake from the 18th century. A lot of work on that one, um, but it, it was good and it was a beautiful cake. I was I was very proud of myself um, how it ended up looking. Granted, not not my kind of cake. It's a fruit cake, but um, but it looked really good. And then, and I just remember being in Hawaii uh, on our honeymoon and and having the vampire video come out. And that I think at that point, except for I quit, that was like the strongest first day of a video ever. It was just nuts. People love that video. Um, and then we did the pumpkin cheesecake, which people still make at, um, I mean, still, like years later, it's been one year, still make this year. People were like, oh, I made that at Thanksgiving. And I, that, that's one of my favorite things is when people make the dishes, actually make the dishes, especially at like family functions and holidays. There was that one, the pecan pie is another one, which was the next, uh, next month. People love that. And I made it for 
Thanksgiving this year because it's absolutely fantastic. Um, and then November also had Feeding Genghis Khan, Genghis Khan, uh, and that one really blew up as well. And I really want to revisit that topic because I wanted, there's a lot more to do about uh, later, later cons like um, Kublai Khan and Marco Polo and stuff. Lots, lots of really cool stuff in there. But I don't think anybody will kind of be as interesting as, as Genghis Khan. I mean, he's one of the most interesting people. Um, horrible, but interesting people in history. Um, and then December was really good. Oh, we did the Aztec um, sacrifice, the Pozole, which is the first time that I've ever edited a video in the YouTube editor never again, at least not on the day that it comes out or even like in the first week, because it ended up for the first day, the sound, the sound edited out, or no, the video edited out, but the sound did not. So it was like off, like you, you couldn't watch it. It was unwatchable that whole first day. And the first day is the most important day for any video usually. Um, so that was a bad decision, but a good video. So go back and watch it. Um, did the mincemeat pie, and that was when we hit 1 million subs. And now we just passed 1.5, so trucking along. It was a good year. It was a good year. 2022 was even better, and that means that 2023 will be even better. That's assuming. That's how it goes. Oh, 2021 also had a, a big thing kind of behind the scenes. That's when I first started working on the Tasting History Cookbook, and then I worked on it all through 2022, and now it's with the publishers, and it's actually printed, and I believe steaming over on a ship um, to the U.S. right now, and that comes out in April. So, still time to pre-order. Uh, longest pre-order period ever, but once it's out, I'm gonna do a little book tour signing in a few uh, major cities, and so that's gonna be really exciting. And uh, yeah, get it, it's gonna be good. So thanks again for watching this channel and for watching Tasting History, and make sure to watch the 2021 recap uh, and the mean comments videos if you haven't seen those. We have three com uh, three videos on this channel in the last month, which is which is a lot for us. Um, so yeah, I will see you next Tuesday on Tasting History, and it'll be 2023. See you then. First episode, run set of Drinking History episode one. The lighting, the lighting. It's a problem wherever we go.